We are getting ready for this garage sale. Clean out the garage. Time to purge. Got some fun things to post. Yay! Folks are having fun. Taking a break. Yes! Might actually see a floor here. So real quick, there's a couple exciting things happening in our lives right now. So the reality of being able to sell the house and go full-time RVing is getting closer and closer. This past weekend, we spent the day out in the carriage house going through all the tools, all the stuff that we've stored out there. It's huge. And we... I got the permission I started listing everything on marketplace and people were actually coming out and buying these things it was great I cannot wait to have a yard sale for the house uh, my son this coming weekend I am so excited for him he is moving into his own apartment which means we're gonna officially be empty nesters what that means is that that house is going to get scrubbed from top to bottom and the realtor um, decision is going to be made and we're going to get that house listed. I cannot wait. But first, I got to get some pups off to doggy daycare and so I can get my game on today. First thing in the morning, this is what I'm doing. Uh, my dogs are quite pampered and we have turned the corner and go into doggy daycare. I cannot rave on enough about this doggy daycare that I send these pups to. Uh, it's Paws of Plan here in Potterville. It is amazing. My girl is back there just crying because she knows we are extremely close. So they are going to go for a puppy fun day while mom goes to work. And, um, but yeah, this is what I do in my daily routine. Um, first thing is get myself dressed, get the pups dressed, and head to doggy daycare. So I dropped the dogs off, and a little bit about me as I am self-employed. I've had quite a few health issues over the past few years and I have a lot of doctor's appointments. So I need to remain flexible for those things. One of these days, I'll probably share some of the things that I've been going through, but that'll be on a different video. In the meantime, I need to start establishing, I have one business that I've had since 2016. And that business kind of has peaks and valleys as far as um, flow goes. And so what I need to do in my household is to promote a little bit of income stability. I am not the primary breadwinner in my home, so I'm the supplement. So what I've done this past year is I've signed up for a shopping service and during the busy times I can make as much as uh, 80 to $100 a day and that's for minimal hours, maybe about five and a half to six hours. So I love that job. Uh, and it's real easy. Uh, you just follow the shopping list, you get the items for the customer, go drop it off at the customer's home. Sometimes they tip, sometimes they don't, but I, it's a flexible income source. 
I recently have signed up for another shopping service because again, that shopping service that I was signed up for, like my business that I launched, has peaks and valleys as far as flow goes. So what I'm hoping is that if I sign up for multiple services, that I can get this flow of income a little bit more steady but yet have the flexibility that I can take time off when I have an appointment or when we need to go somewhere or if we're going to go on vacation, I don't have to worry about um, staffing issues. So today I'm going to try this new shopping service that I've signed up for. So I will let you know in just a few whether or not I got any calls or shops to do and how much money I made per shop. Uh, one thing that I do like about these shopping services is that they are nationwide, which that means that when my husband and I, when he retires and we go full time, that I'll have a resource of providing income, extra income, when we are not out um, adventuring. So this is what I like as I'm signed up, I'm in good standings, and that this can definitely be a source of remote work um, if you're looking for remote work. I'm going to do a video later on once I find out the logistics of advertisement and all that stuff for these companies and I'll let you guys in as to which companies I've signed up for and what the perks are for those. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go see if I can go get some shops today. Have a wonderful day. Okay, so I went on my first shift and I did find out, I can divulge the name, it's with Instacart and I did not know that I thought all the criminal background checks and everything had gone through since I was an approved shopper, they sent me a debit card and everything. So they informed me, I talked to customer service, and what it is is when you sign up for a shift, your very first shift with them, that is what triggers your criminal background check, and they will automatically cancel that shift because that is not in the clear. So my hours that I signed up for this morning actually were, were the hours that stimulated my criminal background check. Once they get that back, then I'll be able to get actually get a batch and do my shops. So the gal that I talked to from Instacart says that that can happen really quickly. So my shifts that I signed up for this afternoon, just be prepared. However, it's not guaranteed. It may take a day or two. I did sign up for some hours later on during the week through Instacart. So if I don't get any today, we'll see what um, the rest of the week brings. But going to check and see how this Instacart pans out. So it, it might be a good side gig. So I wanted to pop in at the end of this video and at least give everybody an update on the Instacart and how it panned out for me. I got my criminal background check and was all ready to go within six hours with Instacart, so I was able to pick up a shift. I worked four hours and I did three deliveries and I made $78.88. That included the tips. So what that equated to is is $19.72 per hour worked. Um, I don't think that that is too bad of a side gig um, for a little extra income. So I'm going to keep at it and see how it pans out. And I'm sure at later videos, I will give everybody an update on how I'm doing with uh, my Instacart shopping. 
Um, I am in my rig today because I have got to get it ready for this weekend. We are going on an adventure that I will let you guys know about. But it is Mother's Day weekend, so I just want to wish all you moms, grandmas, soon-to-be moms out there a wonderful and blessed Mother's Day. Enjoy life. Have an adventure out there. You know, life is like a box of chocolates. You just got to choose your adventure. You never know what you're going to get.